Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are going to be building a market. Yes, we are back in the coastal town, we are going to be building a market in this back area that we have right here, and this area is inspired by AJ. AJ is a YouTuber creator, she does Animal Crossing, she does Dincom, Disney Dream Valley, she does all of that. She's just amazing and she has inspired the Dinkon community into a whole new level by creating our own buildings. So today I am representing AJ in uh, using her AJ teacher in Dinkon, her creator shirt. So if you guys have not found it, go ahead, check every day. It's the Treehouse shirt. So we are representing AJ. We're gonna take that inspiration and I'm gonna try to build what she has done that has inspired so many in the Dinkum community. So okay, so 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 my idea is I I I want to create these new buildings. I think this is something that's gonna bring so much more into the Dinkum builds. You know, it's not just longer creating, keep creating park areas, keep creating uh, just little garden sections now we can bring more creativity into the game by making our own buildings our own designs our own our own sections you know and the the good thing about this is we, we gotta think outside the box you know uh, we gotta use a lot of creativity and it's just it's, it's i think it's something that is really gonna bring many people many people many ways to bring more to the island if you want to make it feel more like a city if you want to make it feel more more like a town with more buildings and, it, and it's just great you know uh there are different ways to make buildings uh different designs different approaches to do it uh, right now i'm only gonna be doing two of the two of the buildings that aj has inspired me uh to try to duplicate to try to create and then try to tweak it just a little bit to bring a style of my own but this one truly is gonna be a homage to what AJ has done to inspire the Dinka community because people have already after seeing what she has done people are making mansions like uh, Rips Gaming uh, that they, they're just going all in all out in creating wonderful structures for for Dinkum and, it, and it's just so great that we get to this point of creativity that we just keep evolving keep pushing the game keep pushing the limits of what Dinkum can be and it's fun it's truly is fun and and I can wait so right now yes my inspiration is from AJ is to make a market but I can't wait that we can use these buildings like all the people are doing it like creating a mansion creating estates creating neighborhoods creating just buildings for other stuff for a library for a shop for just anything just depending on the items that we keep getting in the game we're gonna be able to do even more and more and just and I want to see where this creativity is going to take us, where where it's going to lead us and where where are you guys are going to be building and doing and using these buildings uh, structures for in your island. It's just I think it's 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 just exciting and I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to start doing this um, and building and just coming up with ideas and and I can't wait to add more and more into the islands in in different sections, you know, uh, to to make it feel more alive, to make it feel more like a town each and every time. Okay, so let's get back to the to the build. So what am I doing? So the, the main thing that I'm doing here is I'm still trying to fill, uh, fill up the dirt on this area because we're back in the coastal town. You know, the spring update, uh, we, we made amazing uh, showcases build. Uh, we, we were just doing waterfall, we did the bandstand, we, did, we practiced rock formations, but now I'm back. I'm back in the coastal town. You know, I, I want to finish uh, what, what we've been doing in the coastal town. And at the same time, I'm thinking to see what I can I add of the new stuff that is from the spring update. Things that I may want to tweak and just make it make a little more. But for now, for now, we're just going to concentrate on building this little market area in the back. So I originally wanted to do three buildings back here. But I ended up just doing two, and at the very end of the row, we're gonna add a parking lot. I figured that would have been better than adding three buildings. I think it, by doing three buildings, it would have been very tight, uh, not enough space. And I wanted to have a little bit of space between the buildings and a little more space in the front, and then just uh, 
just on the back we're gonna add a fence that from there is just wide open skies right all you see is the sky and if you walk back there then you all you start seeing is the ocean that, that we're gonna have behind it so so that that that's the idea of the build the idea of the structure so i'm gonna try to explain the base the best that i can as we are building the building and it's and it's not too complicated the good thing with this building and these ideas is they're truly not hard is is very straightforward very, very simple uh, we just we just you're just working in squares we're gonna use ramps we're gonna use the stones and that's pretty much it and then uh, as you're gonna see this and you're gonna see how we are making the buildings I, I do believe that you are gonna get inspired to do your own buildings, to do your own taste, to expand on the idea because so many people are already starting to do that and, and it's just amazing, you know, you can make it more wider, you can make it more taller. So, uh, so where I'm starting on the island, I can only go so high because I'm already so high in this section of the town, but if you start lower, you can go even higher on buildings and, and that's the the fun part and that's gonna be the amazing thing because depending where you're building in your town in what section in what level of your island your buildings can 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 look so much different they can look so tall they can look just normal like just normal high like the normal income houses that we have so yeah so it's it's gonna be fun it's gonna be amazing to see what you guys are gonna create uh, after watching this and getting the idea okay so here we are so 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 the way that I started is I, I added it. I knew I wanted to have the stones in front of the building and on the side. So I was kind of trying to make a, a pattern, uh, kind of imagining what I was going to like. And then I went ahead and started bringing the first level of dirt to the very, to kind of equal the, the stones. And then from there where we're going to put either palm wood you can do brick you can do any any of the tiles right depending how you want your building to look so i'm in the coastal town so i did one with palm wood right over here because it has that coastal town vibe and then we're gonna put the ramps and the ramp is gonna create like a little roof uh texture uh feel to to the build right and then what we're gonna do now is raise it so the first one was raised four high where we got the palm wood four high and then we're gonna put the ramps now the eight the outside right here i believe that one is six high we're gonna go the two the two the two pieces in the in the middle right those are gonna be seven high and then we're gonna go see high uh, six high again and then we're gonna just close it out so look at this we already almost got a whole building done yeah this one's small this is not uh, a big building this is not a mansion you know like rips gaming does a amazing build by the way if you haven't seen that go to rips gaming search it and look at the mansion you guys will get so much inspiration for a whole different type of build but okay so so we almost getting there you see this um we're using we're gonna use the ramps again so right here in where i'm at i'm already at the highest level i can't go any higher for this building like if, if i wanted to make this building taller i'm already in the limit because of the section already I am on the island. So I can't do some of the ideas that I seen people do with the chimney, but I did remember about this furnace. Uh, the, the, the first one with the, with the brick, uh, uh, rocks te texture style, and it matches very well. So that's what I'm gonna use for a kind of like a chimney, just to give a little more texture uh, to the roof. And then what we did, we did a little bit on the side over here. So imagine like uh, this is a store and we got the side and something is expanding. Uh, there could be a door, those could be windows. And this is when a lot of your imagination will start kicking in too when it comes to the building. But one of the things for the buildings to make them feel a little more more real is it's gonna be all the decorate the, the decorating all the items the item placement uh if you want to put a tree if you want to put a palm tree you want to uh put chairs uh what kind of items you want to put in the stalls and that's part of the bill that that you know sometimes we we want to hide corners we want to put uh light posts on this section over here and as and as i keep observing people doing buildings now and just getting their ideas getting the way they're designing you know it did help me to approach this you know and by by going to aj's uh twitter and looking at her pictures and looking at her stream and watching how she she has made her market 
area, feel and all that, that also inspired me to approach this at the same time. And like I say, this is a very, uh, right now, this, this is specifically this particular build is very AJ inspired. You know, is I, I think a lot of people, once they saw that, and they saw the possibility of being able to create a building in income and what, how many doors that that's gonna open now for our game, for our island, for our structure building, you know, is is it's, it's kind of when we first discover that we can put use bridges as rooftops, and we're like, oh my gosh, now we can do this and we can do that. So now this is the next step, you know. And as we keep pushing the the game and pushing the the limit. I, I do believe the creator of the game, James, is gonna be watching and he may be adding either more items, may, maybe items that work like the ramp so we can do even more style of roofing or or just any, any type of, you know, uh, he could give us a, a different type of ramp. He can give us a taller block. He can give us uh, walls. He can give us doors so we can build our own building in the, in the game. So I know the possibilities are endless uh, and this is just the beginning. This is, this is a trial phase. This is, again, as the community, we are pushing the game once again to a new limit, to a new uh, level of designing. And I think that's gonna be great. And I, I think that's gonna help to see the vision of where Dinkum can go. And it's, it's just like an, an exciting time. So, okay, so like I mentioned before, I wanted to make three buildings, but I, I figured with the spacing that I had, there were gonna, there, the buildings were gonna have to be kind of close together. And that's good too, just depending on your approach. But since this is my first building build, I, I, I wanted to showcase it well. I wanted to uh, represent, you know, I'm wearing AJ shirt, the treehouse shirt. I, wa I wanted to do good, you know, in this particular build and I wanted to be able to be simple and to be able to be to see it in all the angles, right? So, uh, and I didn't want everything to be tight and this is gonna be more like a market feel. So I, I went ahead and made more space in between them and at the end of this section, we're gonna have the parking lot that we're gonna build. But this one, uh, this building is gonna be kind of in the same way that we did the first one, but this one will have a little section that is a little longer, just to give it a different feel compared with the other building. And instead of using palm wood, we, we're gonna flip things around. We're gonna do brick in the front, and we're gonna do then the dark wood in the in the back. You, that way we have like two different type of buildings, two different type of feel of structures. You know, when, when we walk our towns and section, uh, there are places that all the buildings kind of look the same because it's just maybe a plaza or a, or a mall or, a, or or just something like that. You know, everything kind of looks the same. But and then you walk your old section of towns and every building has its own character, has its own design, its own uh, feel to it. So so it, depending on the approach you want to do, you're going to be all right. If you want to make a whole strip, let, let's say right now you, you're working on your island and you want to make a whole strip of buildings, right? And you want to make it all the same, that's fine. You want to make it super close, that's fine too. Because as you start looking in real life, in your real world, in your real neighborhood, your real downtown, you're going to see a lot of buildings that are next to each other, very close together. Some of them are very far apart. You can make a building with a parking lot just around there. So like I said, the possibilities now in designing, in the income, new ways, new ways to add areas, to add structure. You want to make a little... Um, a little just fast food area. Now you can make a building and, and make a little restaurant area. You know, it's, it's just, there's so many ideas that we can do as we keep working and evolving our islands. Okay, so now uh, as you see, uh, basically was very straightforward, very similar to the other one, right? Um, right here, I'm tweaking a little bit of the chimney area. I figure, you know what? Let me make it a little bit different on the side over here. Instead of the chimney being just exactly like the other one, what about if we make it sideways? We make one section stand out a little taller and it, it breaks up the the dark wood and it just give it a little bit design, just something else that's different, something that makes it a little more, more unique, you know? And I think the stalls, the stalls are great. I think they, they give a little more character, like these are a little storefront uh, for these type of buildings. And, you know, I believe that the stalls will be great if we have them in many, many type of uh, colors and design. You know, that fabric on the top could be a solid red, solid white, solid blue. The same thing we can have them in different uh, stripes, you know, uh, just as many, many possible stall color variation we can have. 
that's gonna be awesome uh, especially for future builds for future uh, just things that we want to do and and work in the game you know uh, and I'm always throwing those ideas out there because you know you never know who's listening you never know who's who's you know trying to listen to the community and keep adding things that the community may want in the game you know so it's, it's always exciting uh, to talk about possibly a, f a different future for Dinkum as every update as every uh, item that gets added opens the door for new builds for new possibility in this amazing game but okay so now the, the flooring the flooring you can go any route again I'm working in a coastal town my whole coastal town is a whole coastal town vibe so I, I am keeping all the elements that I've been doing since the very beginning since we started working over here so I decided to go uh, with the palm wood uh, for the for the flooring you know it's it, it's it just feels uh, coastal. It, it's, it's light, and when the sun hits it, it's just it, it makes this area very very bright. And and with the ocean in the background, with the, all the palm trees, with all the greenery, it looks really good. At the same time, coastal town. All I'm using is the tropical grass. At the same time, you know, I the tropical grass is kind of more like a neon green, and I do feel with all the the vegetation, the palm trees, everything, it just feels very uh, coastal to me and it's just very, very bright. And that's the vibe. I want this town to feel different compared with what we've been doing when we did the lily pad garden and we did the bandstand because that's a whole different type of feel. That's a whole different type of town. So, so yeah, so so we, I went ahead and I used the, the palm wool for the flooring, but don't forget, depending on where you're at, depending on what you want, there's nothing wrong. You can make it all grass, you can make it all cement, you can use it all brick. Uh, the inspiration that I'm getting from from AJ, she, she did her whole flooring with brick and it looks wonderful and she used the rope fence and it looks amazing and and yeah because she's her town where, where she did her market is a whole different field than my town and and that's the great and that's something that is so important when it comes to decorating is is getting the inspiration you grab it you bring it to your town and then from there you expand on it because depending on what you're building you know if if you're building a very nature heavy type of town so you may have more trees in between the buildings or in the back or in the side you may do so many more different takes on this particular build but okay so here we are so now it's slowly you know the buildings are done uh, there's gonna be a few changes on the one on the left on one of the side because we kind of make like a little book little store section just just real quick but the main idea of the buildings are done so you see how quickly one, once you get comfortable in making the buildings they're not hard it's pretty straightforward they're very easy to do and then from here you can expand it um, and I'm gonna be making more buildings so we're gonna work with different ideas just in case you guys need to see it you know but you can make a different type of roof right here this roof are kind of flat but you you can use the ramps and connect them in the top and make more more just like a triangle roof if you want so it there's so many type of, of type of scenarios that we can do in the buildings and big and I will say it again if you guys want to see something truly amazing when it comes to how big you can go in a build, how big you can go in a building. Then once again, you guys gotta check out my friend, Rips Gaming. He's building a mansion, he's building four of them. He's building a humongous estate, very elegant, using all marble, but you guys gonna be able to see how big, how magnificent we can go when it comes to building, when it comes to creation. And at the same time, go check out AJ once again my true inspiration when it came to creating this area you know is once I saw what she did I was just blown away and I just like I need to do that I need to bring this into the game and share it with all of you so so those two guys uh, check them out see what they're doing see what they're creating because it's just amazing just truly amazing work but okay, so now it's, everything's coming down now to a lot of the, the details. Slowly we're gonna bring bring in this build to life. So, um, and like always, items are gonna be always subjective because depending on what you're trying to do, what kind of store, what kind of items you wanna showcase, uh, it, you're gonna bring a whole different element. So what I did is uh, I started looking at, at farmer's market areas 
in the town in Google in pictures and you know and, and they got all this produce and they got sometimes just different stalls selling maybe books selling uh, maybe just uh, lamps or and anything you know and any type of market you know that you pull up you're gonna get ideas you're gonna see design some markets have even food area that people will see people will eat and then you can add that also into the bill so all, all of those ideas you can put them all together into one just depending on the area how big you want it to be and how far you want it to go so this area is small you know uh it was supposed to be three buildings i made it to two because i kind of I, I wanted a little bit of spacing i wanted to showcase it very well and i wanted to add the parking lot a lot i'm, I'm starting to add a little more parking lots the parking and is, is they're working great especially in this town because i started doing a little more parking lot i think they bring a little extra into the bills they bring a little more uh just structure it just feels like everything is makes sense because since i got the roads you got a parking lot you put some motorbikes there and it it just kind of i feel like it brings a bill more into completion but of course that's always gonna be my take because i i do like parking lots and i do feel like they they fill up some areas and i don't have to put as many items and if if you're working on your islands and you feel like you're starting to have a little bit of lag or something like that like maybe your item loading is very high and depending on the computer that you have all that could be a little harmful uh, making parking lots they're very simple they take a lot of space but at the same time they will free up all the item loading in that particular section so it, it could be something good that you can use for the future uh, if you're working on an area that's very item heavy and you feel it and you feel like it's lagging that your computer can't keep up then if you build a parking lot it's gonna eliminate a lot of items and at the same time it's gonna give you uh something that it goes well with the bill because it, they look great you know parking lots i do feel like they look great they bring something uh, and it brings a little more of that realism because when we go to the places like this a farmer market a building uh they do have parking lots and so in it, it just everything clicks and it, especially for me everything just keeps working everything just clicks and it's just very well but okay so as, as we're seeing i'm adding more barrels i'm adding the new uh, uh board the, the chalkboard and we're gonna write some stuff there and all of this we're gonna just you know we're adding items we're filling up the corners just making but i want to be able to walk uh at the same time with not having like to jump over things so i want to make sure that i can walk in all these different areas uh, very easily so it feels like it has a flow like it has a, a sequence that we can go to so what I did over here is the so so we got the, the produce boxes right but if you get any coffee table you know and when you put them on the floor you can actually put them in the top of the coffee table so it also brings another element and another level of height so you can put the produce boxes you can put them in the floor and then if you want a little higher you can put it in the coffee table and then you can put it inside the stalls so it's, it's the the different levels will bring a different type of feel into the build like a little more realism like everything is being stacked and all of that so it's great so if you like that you know coffee table you put the produce and all of that so here what what i did is i, I decided to divide the the two buildings into different um uh, shops so we have a produce shop on one side and then we got a flower shop so imagine like, uh, yeah, like a, a flower shop. Yeah, I, th I think that's the best scenario that I that, that can describe this uh, building. I, I was gonna about to say like a nursery, but it's not a nursery. It's just a, a flower shop that people come in, buy flowers and all of that. And then on the other side, we do have the produce. Like if you need fruit or anything like that, you come over here and you buy it. And and, and like I said, I think this is, gives a little more, more something to towns, you know, uh, a, just a different way to fill up areas, to, to design an area, and just to keep working on it. So, and then on the side of this shop, at the same time, it has the kind of like a little bookstore area, like maybe it's a flea market style book area, just selling old books, just, just a book sale, and they're just selling this, and people are here, they're shopping, they're buying their plants, they want to buy uh, some produce, and then they get a book, you know and it's just everything working great so i'm also using some one of the new items that i haven't used just yet it's the new flower box i think it is really great um 
On this one, I did left it right on the top. I know pe some people are burying it on the ground and it looks really great. It gives you this border that looks really good. But on this one, I did like it the way it was just left up high and raised up. And I think it just looks really good. Okay, so we're gonna continue and we're gonna continue slowly. We're gonna be adding more flowers. We're gonna try to make this area feel more full, more complete. So I, I was trying to decide what kind of flowers I wanted to use here. So I decided to go with the same flower uh, that I'm using in the very front of the of the bill in the flower boxes over there. So that way everything is cohesive. Everything is just working well together. And then on the back of the buildings, if you saw, I planted more palm trees. That way in the back of the building, uh, especially on the side, we, we, we're gonna start seeing the palm trees growing and then it's gonna be uh, palm leaves just kind of falling towards the side of the building and it just it just to give it a little more Something more to look at in the back, but it's very subtle. It's not just like Boom a palm tree right over here. I, I didn't want to block the building just yet uh, But you can approach it you can you know if you want to in your build you want to put a tree or anything closer to the building all the side of the building uh, you want to put a whole got flower bed going around one side of your building uh, do it because I, I think that's what's gonna make all these builds very fun just very uh, different to one another because I do believe you're gonna get creativity you're gonna be pushing forward you're gonna create your own design and your own building so here I did a little tweak more I, I wanted this area to feel a little more kind kind of like like you had to walk in and you walk into into this kind of corner like it just makes it feel like you're walking in into this little book section so what i did is i extended one side just two two left uh just basically one block i just extended it one because that way i can make kind of like a, this bookcases kind of turn in into each other gives a little bit of this it feels like you got this little corner here that you're it's kind of hidden but when you walk down you see like oh they're selling books back here so and that's that's when i started realizing how fun making buildings are gonna be because you can expand on them you can make them what you want and then how many other items that we haven't thought about that we can use for our buildings how many different design how many type of roofing how many type of walls how many type of structure we can start just building together to make these buildings look better just and and just the approach you know and and everybody's take i'm excited to see all of you how you guys are approaching your own buildings, your own design, your own ideas, and what are you gonna be using them for? I'm just ready. I'm, I'm just ready to see all that creation, all that, all those possibilities, because it truly is just, it's, it's, it's a wonderful time. Once again, this update has brought so many new ideas, so many new ways to approach the game that, that just, you know, oh, a little over a month ago, it, we, we could not think like this. We could not do all this stuff that we are doing. So yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's, I, I just get excited, you know? I just truly get so excited about everything, ev everything and what everybody's doing and what everybody's creating and the, all the inspiration that we all getting from each and, one, and everyone, you know, by watching all the other creators, by looking at the pictures that you guys are putting in the Discord. It's just an amazing, amazing time. Okay, so the other thing that I started doing here is the crates, you know? I was like, hmm, let me, I, I kind of want to break a little bit of the brown and the and the wood textures that we have going on. So I was like, what about if I add crates that matches the, the fruit that is in, like this crate is red because it's the apple crate and, and they put it there because they, they're emptying the apples. So, and I did the same thing with the blue crate and I did the same thing with the yellow and the and the green crate. And I think that brought either, it, it broke up a little bit of the of the brown or the brick coloring and it, and it just gives a little bit more color into the build, into the area. So I ended up liking that. But if you don't like uh, the crates being colored, just go ahead and use your normal crates. You wanna use the barrels, you know, I'm still hoping one day we can paint barrels too. You know, I think that's gonna be very fun if we ever get to to do that. And maybe a, a, a darker tone of the barrel at the same time, like a very dark brown tone. Uh, because I, I think that's gonna bring, it, that's just gonna make some, area stand out you know because uh it, it it's just more texture right uh the more texture we have the more we can add into our builds and and that's what i've been thinking lately it's just you know how can we keep adding more texture into our builds that it, it just keeps making things stand out but here we are 
In the daytime, it's starting to look really good. Like everything is just coming together. Everything is just working well. So now here, here comes the part that, that I want to build a parking lot. And that part hasn't changed. If you remember, in, you now we got to go back a couple of videos, but in one of my last coastal town videos that we were uh, working on, this plan right over here is still the same. I, I always wanted to do a parking lot in this corner because I still the I still want to add the talker box most likely back here behind the community pool area. I think it's just going to be a great bill to add to, to the coastal town. But and I always thought I was going to do a parking lot right here. So everything kind of worked out great. You know, everything worked out really well together. We're going to have a parking lot. It's going to add something to this build. We're going to be able to fence it in. And once we do this and just add the final more details that we need to add, it truly really, this little section, this little strip back here of the coastal town worked out very well. And it just brought something extra to the island, you know, uh, I cannot imagine now what I would have done. I know I think at first I was thinking to bring in uh, maybe one of the NPC characters back here. Yeah, uh, it could have been, uh, I don't know. I don't know which one. Maybe I would have done the furniture store. Maybe I would have done the clothing store. I would have done something back here. I think, uh, I can't remember. I know I, I know I talked about it in one of the videos, but this is so much better, you know, um, and, and I like this. I like this building's idea, you know, because especially in my style of building that is more town uh, focused, you know, having this town sections, town, the different levels of town and creativity. Now being able to build my own building and I, I don't have to worry about if, oh, I, I use all my guest houses and I use all the buildings. Now, I, if I have an idea and I want to add a building, a structure into this area and to use it for whatever I want, or it just could be just a random building. It could be an abandoned building. You know, it could be another market area selling other type of items like furniture items, you know, kind of like a flea market or a garage sale. You know, the, the possibilities truly are, are endless now, you know, uh, because in, we can make even bigger neighborhoods, you know, we can make houses and you can make a whole neighborhood, you know, pretending that there's more people living in Dinkum, you know, and we can do that. And now with the ability to make this, it really opens the idea. It opens the plan. And I'm, and I'm excited, you know, um, I'm excited because, you know, we are, I want to finish the coastal town. Uh, I, I, I want to do finally the builds that I want to do with the sailboat. I think I've, I finally got the idea down. I think we're getting very close to start working on that. I got to find the place and the area that I want to use that. But, you know, as, as we, as, as, as I keep watching the community grow and I keep watching creators build amazing things, you know, new ideas are always popping in my mind. And, and I can't wait because when I start the new town, when I can start laying out the foundation of that town, having now be, being able to create buildings is going to add a whole new level into my build, into my, my layout, my, my thinking behind a building, because now I don't have to just to think about the NPCs or the guest houses. I can make my own. You know, and we can bring more, more texture, more height, more levels, more, more buildings, more structure into the, the world, into my style of building, you know, that is more town centric, uh, heavy, more, more, more like a town feel than just a lot of nature and stuff like that. So yeah, so is is my mind, I, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm truly am, you know, and once again, I gotta say it again, you know, thank you, AJ. Thank you for inspiring the Dinka community to inspire all these creators that are now making buildings into the game, you know, because you really, you really open a, a new, something new in, into this world and being able to do this, being able to create this uh, and get that inspiration from you has been amazing, especially for me, it's been truly amazing and, and it's just, it's, it's, it's exciting, you know, it's, it truly is. It's, it's, it's like, again, we're having, oh, wow, now we we can do this in Dinkum now? It's like, this is awesome. This is this is just a whole new door. This is all new possibilities, uh, all the way to approach a whole new new way to play the game. So, so yeah, so AJ, once again, thank you so much. And guys, if you have not heard of AJ, check her out. I'm gonna have the description down below, uh, all the way to her YouTube channel. 
The shirt that I'm wearing is her creator shirt in Dincom. Find it, wear it, and put a picture when she when, when you're building your first building, take a picture with that shirt and send it to her in her Twitter because you know I think that will make you really happy because this is just amazing, you know. Uh, uh, I would not be at this particular point in my building if I would not seen that video and those pictures that she posted. So it's it's awesome. Awesome. So thank you again, AJ. So here we are. So the bill is coming together, right? It's, it's looking really good. It's coming together uh, very nicely. Uh, everything is just falling into place. So I'm, I just got to keep tweaking the parking lot. We got to uh, finish some of the items. We got to write on our on our chalkboards uh, what we want to write and for to kind of start promoting this little section. And and yeah, we, we just keep looking at it. So right now I'm just going back and forth because I'm, I'm trying to see if I have everything that I, the way I want it. And this is like, like I said, again, this is a whole new approach to the game. So I know as we continue to build and continue to make more buildings and more areas, uh, they're going to look better. You know, every time we build something new for the first time, uh, I do try to make my best. I do try to make it the best uh, build that I can. But I know, I know that this build, these ideas are going to evolve. They're going to improve. And then when I go back and see this one, I'm going to be like, Oh, that looks so much simple. Like I could have done so much better, but I am happy with how everything is turning out. I like the feel of the area. I like how we walk through the road and it just leads to the parking lot and we can park right there and then we can walk in this area. I think I want to add maybe uh, maybe a little gate uh, in the parking lot that takes you directly to the bookstore. I, I didn't do that. I didn't think of that. But now that I'm watching this replay, I think that's something I do want to add. So I may work on that and uh, a little down the road when I play the game and just add that little detail. But at the same time, it may not be bad. You can still walk as you park on the road and then get in into the two front entrances that we built for this area. So either way, it, it, either in the direction you want to approach it, if you want to see it ahead of time and you want to add that, go ahead and, and do the entrance if you needed to. So here, uh, like I said, we are finishing uh, adding all the palm wood that was missing in these uh, sections over here. This is a little corner bookstore. We are going to add a little table. We're going to add a little more seating and then we're going to add on the top of the table like a little fruit bowl. We're going to add a little books because it kind of makes a feel, you know, and then I know a lot of people mentioned that we're hoping one day we can, you know, place more food items into our builds and also place maybe like the coffee beverages or the tea beverages or more beverages that we can display for fun. You know, like when we make a, a restaurant area and we wanna put more place down with food, you know, and, and drinks and all of that. Uh, I think that's something the community wants. I'm hoping that's something that the developer is gonna be, maybe look into the future, you know. I know the community, we all want so many items. We want so many things, you know, uh, but it's, it's amazing like, how James, one man, is keeps adding and building into the game in a, such a good way because every update feels like it's, it's released. This game, even from the very first one, doesn't feel like an early access game. It was well po polished and then he just keeps polishing it and making it better and just adjusting and listening to the community and adding stuff that the community truly, truly wants that makes this game. This is why the game is so special because it just... It just keeps evolving in a way that the the majority of the community wants it to go and it's just it's great it feels great and it's just i can't wait to this game just keep evolving and evolving and get to every level it just gets better and better but okay so so yeah so we we finished adding this, this kind of stuff so now i you guys know i'm a fan of the bulletin board uh bulletin board is easy to make it's one of those things that is easy to make it's easy to add and also to bring a little more something more in visually into any bill you know it helps when you're walking back when you just see the back like that uh it also helps from the front and you can place it in different in different areas and also at night it has a little light so it looks really good you know and it and as long as you can make it work with the bill that you want and and for whatever reason you want to use it uh it, it it really it really helps so much in the bill so i added already two of them and i i will end up adding one more and that one will be back here in the parking lot once i make more space Space. so this is the initial parking lot but eventually we are gonna just push it more back uh, more forward one so then I can have a, a double sidewalk on the back 
and then we're gonna add the bulletin board and that gives a little more you know sometimes you go to those uh city parking uh spaces and you know you gotta pay for parking or they got like this bulletin board and they got all this stuff phone numbers or just stuff like that you know and, and we're gonna add a trash can at the same time because i've seen that a lot uh, in parking areas you got your trash can and all that so we add that and then it, it, it makes this area feel a little more complete a little more put together and it's just it's great so here um, I'm checking cup just adding a few more lights just a few more things that is needed uh, and I, I want this little stairway this little side to look a little more elegant and then we're gonna raise up some of the lamps we, instead of just being just uh, completely on the dirt I, I seen people how they just kind of elevate the the place where the lamps kind of stay uh, stay and then they put like a cement and then they put the lamp just to bring them a little higher and i wanted to see how that would look on this section over here it did look great so i went ahead and did that so uh now we are also writing uh, just very simple you know i'm i wasn't super creative like what did I wanted to write? So I just went straight forward. Flower sale, uh, fruit sale, book sale, just kind of kind of very straightforward. I may work on the titles in the future if I want to be more creative, but I just went simple because I didn't want it to leave in blank, but that was the best thing that I can think of right now. So if you guys uh, want to put something in the comments, if, if you have a better title, uh, something better, and I like it, hey, put it in the comments. I'll look at it and I may just change it. So it sounds maybe it sounds better than book sale maybe and I, I don't know like i don't truly really don't know what to write there so okay so we added more light in the back because it looks a little dark right and here's the bulletin board and you see how that bulletin board looks really good it just bring a little more to look at in the parking lot area it just is that some sometimes the finer details is what's going to bring a build to life you know and and it just depends on what you want to do it, it could be item placement it could be more uh nature centric it could be adding trees uh, adding flower beds adding a fountain uh, just adding tables adding chairs um uh, i don't know what every build need and i don't know what you guys need but sometimes it's just playing around just playing around with your builds adding stuff don't be afraid to order items you know and then uh, get them in the mail and then adding them and you're like oh this doesn't look good and then order other items uh, make a storage area put all those items in storage because you're gonna end up using doesn't matter what you order because even if you don't use it the way you want it to you are going to use it down the road in a whole different bill so don't don't worry about ordering and ordering what you need because order test it out sometimes the things that we don't think is gonna work is the things that work the best and look the best and it feels the best and it's just just really great so i forgot to talk that i did added the vine fence you know this is my first time using the vine fence from the new update i think it looked really uh great to give it a little bit of more greenery in this area that was kind of very palm wood uh heavy uh it just looks really good it kind of fits very well in the coastal town so maybe i'm gonna be looking into this fence maybe updating some areas in the coastal town to bring a little bit of greenery instead of using all the hedges maybe i use this instead so in uh, this update this, this update again it's been amazing you know i i haven't gone to all my old areas all builds to update it and i i don't know if i want to update all builds or i want to continue and working on the coastal town finish the coastal town and then start a brand new town just with everything that we have but it's fun to update builds too so it's i don't know is is there's so many things to do now so, so many ways to approach the game so many ways to either i can do an update video we can do a, a build video uh on the coastal town or slowly finishing this town so we can start our forest town so is yeah yeah uh, the possibility uh truly endless once again you know dinkum has evolved once again uh thank you aj i, I can't thank you enough you know that that inspiration that boom of inspiration that you gave me to create this and you know i i hope I, I did justice of of what you created the inspiration that you gave us and i can't wait so i can start then adding my own take my own spin into more of these buildings into the more creativity uh that we're adding into into our world of dinkum you know um uh, i can't imagine this back area now without this without these buildings it's just you know it would have been just another npc building and 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 i love the npc building or a guest house you know but now 
I can add more buildings, I can add more structure. And that's something that I'm truly in love with right now, uh, with this inspiration, with this idea of making our own buildings. It's just, it's just great, you know? And I love the way like you're walking on the bridge and you see this structure, these buildings, this area, this market, the flowers, the fruits, and, and how you look in between the building and you see that the, the, the rest that you see is the sky. And then if you walk more back there, then you will see the drop off and you will see the ocean. You know, this is still the coastal town vibe. I still feel like it has that coastal town vibe. We're still just using palm trees and the palms are uh, the two different versions and, and just adding just anything that can make it feel very coastal. Here's this shirt, AJ shirt. Find it in the game. Find it, wear it, take a picture, Put it on her Twitter and thank her for the inspiration down where we are today in Dinkum, making buildings because of you. Thank you so much, AJ. Truly, truly, thank you. So that's her shirt. Uh, you can find it. Just check the clothing store every day. You see that little tree house? That's AJ's shirt. And, and thank you, AJ, for inspiring me to make this area. And guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Buildings are fun. They're easy and they can be more elaborate as we continue to evolve our buildings. You know, you can go from small to big. You can create this tiny building, you can create a mansion. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos and we'll see you next time. All right guys, see you later, bye.